This is a video tutorial on how to play Should Have Said No by Taylor Swift. So I'm going to show you the chords first. So first chord is an E minor. It sounds like this. And you put your middle finger on the fifth string second fret your and your ring finger on the fourth string second fret. And then a C, uh, which is your first finger on the second string, first fret, your middle finger on the fourth string, second fret, and your ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. A is the next chord, and you put your first finger on the fourth string, second fret, your middle finger on the third string, second fret, and your ring finger on the second string, second fret. D is your first finger on the third string, second fret, your middle finger on the first string, second fret, and your ring finger on the second string, third fret. And then D sus4 you is a D, but you add your pinky onto the first string, third fret. And for the G, I use my pinky and my ring finger because it's easier to switch to the next chord. So if if you want to do it this way, you put your pinky on the second string, third fret and your ring finger on the 6th string, 3rd uh, fret. And then a D slash F sharp. You keep your pinky on the same string and you put your first finger on the 6th string, 2nd fret and your middle finger on the 3rd string, 2nd fret. So to play the intro, it is E minor, C, D, G, D slash F sharp, E minor, C, D, and D sus4. I'll play that all together so you can see what it sounds like. For the verses, you play G, D slash F sharp, C, and you do that four times. So I'll play it once so you can hear what it sounds like. When she says, you say that you take it all back, you start playing E minor, C, and G, you can now use your middle finger and your, your ring finger to play the G. And then D, C. For 
for the chorus, it's E minor, C, D, G, D slash F sharp, E minor, C, D, and D sus4, E minor, C, D, G, uh, D slash F sharp, E minor, C, A, C, and D.